In this video, we're going to go through the process of creating a five-thread hem. This hem is common for something like leggings, like spandex, so that's what we're going to use here. First, we're going to take a look at our pin and see where we are shortening this garment to and lay this flat out on our cut top so that we can cut nice and even straight across. So I'm lining the edges up on this grid on my red line here and then I've got a little chalk line here for where we want the garment to end. That's where the pin was. Now we're going to measure the hem allowance on the original hem which is almost exactly an inch and then we're going to measure down from our chalk line one inch for our cut line. So again where the garment is going to finish, the length it's going to finish at, is different than the cut line and that's really important. So I'm using my center black line that measures exactly an inch and placing that on top of my chalk line and then I'm using the grid to balance the lines on the ruler and across the pan. So we're checking that this line goes straight through the grid, these bottoms of the pant are lined up as much as they can exactly on the grid and that we are giving ourselves one inch down from the chalk line that I can see through the clear ruler. Then we actually don't even need to mark this line because we are ready to go ahead and just cut it. I'm going to put on my little cut resistant glove here and then checking one more time that we've given ourselves an inch and that everything is balanced and lined up, I'm actually just going to slice straight across, just like that. Perfect. Now, we're going to press under our one inch seam allowance and give that just a quick press on the iron so that we can get ourselves our new crease where the new length will be. And then we're going to sit down and sew it. Okay, so we've pressed our one inch hem allowance under so that we've got a nice little crease here that we can use to butt up against our seam guide and really help us get that cover stitch on the underside covering. Now I want to start at the under seam, so the inside inseam of the leg. We're going to start just there so that we can cover the overlap of the stitching at the beginning and end of the seam. Now, I've got my crease up against the guide and I've got my edge of my fabric again right here at that channel, right there. But I'm going to use my fingers to guide me. Now, holding this seam allowance under with my fingers is the easiest way to do this because using pins with such a small circumference, here on these leggings, we've got such a tiny opening that putting pins in here is just going to make it more complicated and we're just going to prick ourselves. So I really want you to get comfortable with the feeling of holding the right amount of seam allowance under, literally just holding it in place. And then also again, using your fingers, your hands, and your thumb in front to really help you guide that fabric in. Okay, so here we go. We're going to just get started. Now I'm watching very closely in the beginning to make sure that the fourth thread, the upper covering stitch, does get caught on the arm and start pulling across. We really want to start that off strong. Great. And then I'm going to stop and readjust a lot because, again, it's a small circumference. It's a small area. We want to stop, look, see our guide, position, reposition our hands reposition the seam allowance just like that and I'm going to look up out the back and make sure the stitching looks good and I'm going to flip it over and make sure that I'm actually covering the edge of that fabric underneath so again I'm moving this I can feel with this thumb that is my favorite way to course correct. 
We want it to be nice and straight. I'm checking each time I reposition my hands, I'm checking underneath to make sure the edge of the fabric is where I want it. But really, we're not going for a long stretch of stitching at a time. We're really going nice and slow so that we can get it right. I'm clipping off the threads from the beginning so that they're not in my way. And then continuing on. Great. And then as we come back around, we're aiming to stitch directly over top of our original stitching. That's the other reason that I like to clip these threads from the beginning so that it looks nice and clean. So here we go. And we're aiming to go about one inch of overlap. And then we're gonna stop and move our needles with our hand wheel all the way up out of the fabric. And then pull gently straight out the back. I'm gonna clip these threads underneath nice and close and then up on top as well. So we can see where we've got that little bit of uh, stitching over itself to lock it in place. It's a little bit heavier there, but it'll keep the stitch nice and secure. Then we're gonna take a look at our stitching. Beautiful, nice and straight, that's what we want. And then finally we're gonna come inside and make sure that we're really close to that edge. You see that? Over the, having the stitching over the fabric is best, but nice and close to that edge is also great. Perfect. All right, that's wonderful. Now I'm gonna give that one quick press just to flatten it out, but that is perfect. So we're gonna stitch up the other leg and get this back to the customer.